The past few weeks have put a spotlight on police reform work at the state capitol. I spoke with Representative Cedric Frazier about this for this week's Newsmakers segment. Well, I guess we have to start with what did you think about the verdict? I thought it was the right verdict. Um, it was it was the verdict I was hoping hoping for, and I think you can see by the reaction of the community uh, here around the country and around the world that it was a verdict that many people were wanting to see. Um, but but also I think many folks understand that that is only one part of the process, and we've got a lot more work to do. How do you think it will weigh into the ongoing discussion and action on police reform? I think it should weigh in uh, very prevalently uh, as a lawyer. I mean, president is an important thing, um, you know, in the practice of law. And, and I hope this will set a president. I hope this will, will send a message that accountability is important, that accountability will happen. And I, I, I truly believe that if, if officers know that um, they will be held accountable uh, for actions like this when they cross the line, that um, there, there will be a pause and there will be more thoughtfulness around what they do and how they engage community members when they're, when they're, their job is to protect and serve and not cause harm. I know the Senate passed a public safety bill a few days ago. Do you think there's any possibility that now police reform could be added to that or more measures? I'm hoping there's a possibility. We did have uh, Senator Gazelka come out and say that um, he wanted to uh, at least have hearings around fact finding. I'm not sure what that means. He didn't promise to actually include any of the reforms that we have. We, we're going to have a lot of reforms coming from outside. I really think this is an opportunity for Minnesota to step up and meet this moment and be a leader on police reform and accountability. I will say we probably need to go even further than what we have in the public safety bill that we have now. Um, the, the time is right. Um, the, the Chauvin verdict was important um, to remind us that we need to keep moving forward um, in a progressive manner. And I just really think we need to take um, advantage of this opportunity that we're in and be a leader. The world is still watching us to see what we're going to do. Right. And when we talk about police reforms, is there anything specific that you would want to highlight or show as something that, that needs to happen now? I mean, something that can happen right now is uh, there is a bill that um, that I authored with uh, two of my other colleagues, uh, Representative Moeller, Representative Jamie Becker-Finn, um, around um, police stops and how we stop our motorists. Uh, and this, this was a direct reaction to what happened with Dante Wright and what led to the killing of Dante Wright in Brooklyn Center is that um, the expired tabs were the reason the officers pulled them over. And then an air freshener was the secondary thing that they looked at, that they noted, specifically noted in their report. Um, those are the type of things, those were not an imminent danger to the community at all. Uh, it, it didn't cause any uh, danger for him to drive and operate that vehicle. We do not need to have law officers with guns um, doing traffic stops. It just it's, it is not something that's inherently dangerous. So we should find a way to limit those interactions if we have a bill that goes directly to that. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.